Although our girls were born overseas, I am originally from Singapore. So I want them to be in touch with their roots and to share some of my collective memories of the country by bringing Singapore to our game table. I'm Leanne and I want to inspire families to learn while playing. So if this is something that you are interested in, consider subscribing. Today we are going to share our favourite games that we have used to get into the Singapore spirit. First up, food. As a family, we eat quite internationally at home since my cooking repertoire actually developed after I left home. But once in a while, we will pull out a local favourite from Singapore and that makes it real nice for the kids to get to play with their food when we play Hawker Wars. In Hawker Wars, players take on different Hawker stalls representing Chinese, Indian, Malay and international cuisine. The goal in this game is to score the most points by cooking the dishes that best fit the menu. Players collect appropriate ingredient cards to cook dishes and those dish cards remind us constantly of the open air food stalls in the heartlands of Singapore. Just as amusing are the action cards, situations that all diners will be familiar with that affect every food and beverage outlet, such as price inflation, stolen recipes, missed deliveries and expiring food. There are also advantages gained from being featured on television or visited by celebrities or long snaking queues which bring brisk business. The game is a good laugh in reminiscing the hawker scene in Singapore. Another family favourite, literally and figuratively, is the king of fruits, the durian. This next game is Durian Dash by Origame. This pungent fruit can be somewhat of an obsession with Singaporeans. Growing up, I remember outings we had to Geylang, specifically to buffet on durians. It was a lesson relearned on different durian species available. There are many different varieties and lots of preferences of one type or another. In the game, Players try to collect as many of the durian species which they either like, love, or are just highly coveted like the Mao Shan Wang species. They also want to avoid and get rid of the ones that they don't like, hate, or are rotten because those cards will lead to point deductions at the end of the game. In the game, Players choose a plantation, either Pahang or Johor, and play an action card, which does three things. Icons determine how many durians can be collected, numbers up top set the priority in the picking order, and the durian trucks show which direction players can start picking. And when the deck runs out, durian season is over and the game ends. Then we count our points, and head to the closest supermarket to pick out a few varieties for us to sample and taste the ones that we indeed love. The third game that we like is Checkout by Mercat Games. And whilst it's not limited to just Singapore, there is a particular Singaporean flavour to searching out a good deal. This is one that my five-year-old always asks to play. We are buying food items from the convenience store. It plays a lot like Roll For It by Calliope Games. You roll the dice for it and then match it. For each player, there are two food item cards in the shop and one deal card at the checkout counter. Each item rewards points. Players roll their dice sets in the colour of their choice and match them to the dice images on the face-up item cards. They can use all or some of their dice to match with the cards they want and then yell check out when placing any remaining dice at the counter. When all players are at the checkout counter, these dice can then be used to pick up deal cards at the cash register if they meet the buying conditions. If players choose not to pick up a deal or there are none left in a case where maybe they are the last and all the items have been picked out, then the dice can be converted to savings 
one coin for each die. These coins will be used in their last bonus flash deal round right at the end. When that is done, all the points on the food item cards and the deal cards are tabulated and the player with the highest points wins. The game embodies a certain anxiety that was quite familiar to many of us in 2021 when so many were scrambling at the supermarkets to make sure they got what they needed before lockdown set in. So it really does have a contextual appeal as well. So those are our top three games about Singapore that our girls really enjoy playing. Hopefully you get a chance to play these games soon and check out the links below where you can get a copy for yourself and I will see you in the next video. Next